Well, another day of active searching, but police still haven't found that one lead they need to crack the case. Chris Hernandez is outside the family's home where the baby disappeared sometime early Tuesday morning. Hi, Chris. Well, hi, Elizabeth. And the house here is still being kept as a secure crime scene, but the search itself has done a couple of different things. It has both expanded to new areas and gone back to check some old ground. For example, this afternoon, right here in the neighborhood, just about a block or so away, we saw officers doubling back to search homes and talk to residents where no one had been home the first time they went through. Also today, city water department workers came to help the search. They opened up manholes so that officers could go down into the sewer system. They also searched again in a heavily wooded area, but so far, nothing significant has been turned up. Obviously, no big breaks in this case, but all of these things, all of these different parts of the searches are part of an attempt to make sure that they haven't missed anything. I think people from the water department were out here with detectives helping them check in the uh, storm drains and stuff. So, uh, you know, if, if we think of doing it and we can do it, we're going, going to do it. And we are also hearing tonight that there are some other relatives who are organizing an effort for this weekend to pass out flyers and to pass out yellow ribbons to help remember baby Lisa and also to try to help find her. Reporting live in the Northland, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. All right, Chris, thanks. Well, we all certainly hope they find her soon.